Welcome back, gamers, to another Gamer Juice episode. You know we always get straight on into the content, and it is no different today. Drake Hollow Tips and Tricks Number 10. Waypoints are your best friend. For our first and probably one of the most important tips and tricks, we have how to correctly wield waypoints to your advantage. They allow you to travel and you can return them to your inventory by dismantling them when you're done. Waypoints are crafted by using two glowstones and one duct tape. And you can get glowstones by breaking bramble infestation and crafting them from three glowstone shards. As soon as you get the chance, you need to unlock the advanced curio workshop, which allows you to turn glowstone shards into waypoints. If you can place waypoints around the world and connect them together, you get to speed through the air and not have to use aether wards to traverse through the aether. Waypoints are a great way to avoid the feral enemies seeking to destroy you and they allow you to safely get back to your base. In addition to using the waypoint system for traveling, you can connect to supply trucks on certain islands. As long as they're connected to your waypoint network, this allows them to deliver resources to your base. In time, you'll have your own personal highway and resources-wise, they'll do nearly all the work for you. Besides traveling, Waypoints can lead you to hidden chests and spots where you can find schematics. And a bonus pro tip, in order to maximize waypoint distance, you can hold the button to place and walk until your supply truck or your last waypoint loses the yellow outline. You'll need to walk back so it just appears, then place your waypoint right there. And if you ever want to change directions while traveling by the waypoint system, you can double tap jump while spinning on a waypoint line. However, be careful if you're doing that over the Aether. Number 9. Take advantage of blocking. Our next advice is related to blocking damages. This will be an immense help if you're ever overwhelmed. Whether you're up against enemies charging you or ranged attacks, learning how to correctly block will save you some serious damage. If you're playing Drake Hollow on PC, then by default, you can click and hold your middle mouse wheel to block. To prevent all damage, make sure your block meter shown through a shield isn't empty. Number 8. How to find crystals Drake Hollow is a lot of genres crammed into one awesome game. You get the building aspect, combat, healing, and survival. Basically, it's a lot to take in as a beginner, and you might not know what to prioritize. Let's start with something simple. Drake's. Drakes are the center of the Drake Hollow universe. They're an adorable vegetable species that need your help. You get to feed them, protect them, entertain them, and put them to bed. In return, they can help you build your camp. They can provide gifts, give you charms, and sometimes they can heal you. And if you leave your damaged weapons in your camp, your drakes will pick them up and put them in the depot. When you come back to take them out, they'll be fully repaired. So Drake Hollow has something called crystals, which allow you to essentially upgrade your drakes and age them up. Each type of drake needs a unique crystal, and different ages need different sizes and cuts of crystals. You can find these precious gems while exploring different islands, breaking up bramble infestations on each island you encounter, and fighting enemies are the most common ways to find them. If you're lucky, sometimes, but this is rare, drakes can give you some as gifts. Another way you can find crystals are by killing enemies. The map will show you regions where you can look after using the lighthouse. You'll know crystals when you see them because once you're near, they'll have a glowing animation in the ground. Then you can go back to your base and click the Give Crystal button on the right side to upgrade them. If you're tired of the Drake's same repeated animations, you can just avoid them by immediately backing away after the interaction. Number 7. Schematics and where to find them. The deeper you go into the game, the more you'll need schematics because you'll need to use them to unlock new buildings for your camp. It's inevitable. Schematics can be found on random islands, and they'll be laying on the ground or you can find them in junk piles like in glowing shopping carts. If you're just a beginner, you don't have to worry that much about schematics because most upgrades to your camp level often only need one schematic. Adding to that, you'll also need charms to construct your buildings. Luckily, drakes provide a renewable source of charms. Players in Drake Hollow only need to interact with their drakes to get the benefits. Even if you only have a few drakes, they tend to replenish them pretty quickly, so just check with them every now and then for more. 
To know how many charms a drake has, use the inspect mode, which will be X on PC, and it will show you how many they have. A happy drake means more charms, so keep them satisfied and thriving, which leads us to our next point. Number 6. Keeping your drakes happy. Keeping your drakes alive and happy is a major part of Drake Hollow. In order to make them thrive, you'll need to keep them fed, hydrated, and find ways to entertain them so they don't die of boredom. This can quickly grow overwhelming, so as newcomers to Drake Hollow, be mindful of recruiting more drakes than you can handle. We know it's very tempting to pick up every little one, but you need to be prepared to feed them before adopting new ones and upgrading your current residence. When you're upgrading your camp, your priorities should be building the lobster pen, the cleansing water cooler, and the pinball machine. Just be careful not to build at night because your drakes won't sleep and will be tired later. Number 5. Defense System To protect yourself and your drakes in camp, you need to brace yourself against potential inevitable raids. Start your defense system by building a fence. Stack and cluster some important items like food and water, then build more fencing around that to protect it. If you want to take things a step further, place extra fences around open areas around your camp. They'll provide an awesome distraction that will slow down the raids and allow you to sneak up on your enemies without them noticing you. These fences can be randomly placed, even with gaps, and your enemies will still focus on them. As far as defense systems go, these are very cheap to build. Number 4. The Lobster Pen Like we said before, lobster pens are one of the priorities that you need to get on top in Drake Hollow. They won't drain your resources as they only need power and blighted water to power. Lobster pens provide food. After you've gathered the essentials of both food and water for your drakes, make sure you create a bed for every single drake in your camp. Number 3. Easy Money In Drake Hollow, after doing lumber runs, if you have an abundance of twigs, grass, and leaf bundles, you can sell them to the magpie for one shiny piece each. This tip is very important especially because these items are not used too much in crafting. Therefore, you're essentially just reaping in the rewards without much work. This way, you can accumulate a good amount of shiny stuff for future purchases, especially when you're still a beginner. Number 2. Where to find items For our number 2 tip, we're bringing you the best spots to find items and materials. So, you can find materials like stone, circuitry, and metal only at supply trucks and supply caches. As soon as you're able to get your hands on a dousing rod, you'll find that they're invaluable at indicating materials. Meanwhile, things like lumber can be found by harvesting and chopping trees, buying them from the magpie, and finding them in supply trucks and caches. Materials like these won't appear in your depot. They can be found at the top right of your bag and the depot screen. Number 1. How to Avoid Raids and at the top of our list, we have one of the most useful tips that we've found. In Drake Hollow, one moment you're kicking back in your camp, enjoying the company of your drakes, and the next, you're fighting off a raid of enemies. These enemies come in swarms and will periodically attack your base, trying to destroy all your hard work of building a functional and efficient camp. To protect your base as much as possible, defenses like traps, walls, and decoys can go a long way. Raids aren't just happening non-stop, you know. They occur periodically, and if you're outside, you'll get a timer for when the raid is about to start, so you can race home. For our trick concerning this part of Drake Hollow, we have a way you can extend or earn more time for yourself before raids. If you notice, raids happen more often when you're doing nothing at your camp. However, if you're out smacking and killing stuff, the time before the raid starts extends. If you kill those thorny red plants, more time will be added to the timer. If you build tech at the camp, time can be dramatically subtracted. Sometimes, if you're building things like beds, the timer might jump from 3 minutes to 30 seconds. Alright gamers, we hope you enjoyed the list because that's going to wrap it up. If you did in fact watch the video all the way through, we appreciate you so much, and we hope that you enjoyed it enough to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell because we're always releasing more content. As always, we'll see you in the next one.